now demonstrate the essential role of the assistant in the insertion of a continuous suture. Start once again by inserting the initial suture and ligating this using the reef knot technique. In this situation, let us assume that we wish to maintain a hold of the end of the short suture as a stay. In this case, get your assistant to place a hemostat on the end of the suture, grasping it right at the tip of the jaws, not up near the hinge where it would slip. Grasp it in the tip of the jaws and place to one side. Then pass the other length of the suture to your assistant and make sure that they hold it the right distance from the wound not too close and not too far away. Then continue suturing. As you insert the suture and pull it through gently, your assistant should release the suture and allow you to snug it down. Pass it again to the assistant. As one continues along the incision, it is important that the suture material does not get caught around instruments, as you see here and your assistant should remain alert to such a danger. Unfortunately, in this case, the assistant was not alert and allowed the suture material to twist around an instrument. It now becomes increasingly difficult to untwist this and panic sets in. The assistant then starts to put their hand into the middle of the surgeon's view, which is even worse, but eventually the suture material is freed. Pass it again to your assistant who will be wary for the rest of the operation. When cutting sutures, do not cut them too long as this long length of thread will be a needless waste of suture material and will get caught up in the wound or in the dressings. However, don't cut them too short, otherwise this will be insecure and might even lead to the unravelling of the knot. Cut the suture to such a length that it will be secure and also allow the suture to be grasped